Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 practice test for the EOC, practice test 2, question number 57. Now this question is one of those ones that's really not that difficult to do, and you could try typing stuff into the calculator to find the points and looking, but it seems crazy to me. Let's just go through each of the ordered pairs, because they're asking you which one of the ordered pairs is included in this relation. Basically, I just want you to know which one has all the points on the graph that we've already been given. So all I'm going to do is go in and plot the points. And remember, of course, that uh, it's x and y, in case you forgot that. So the number in the first number they give you is the, where you go on the x-axis, and the second is where you go on the y. So a, the first point says negative 5 and 4. So on my x-axis, I'm going to go to negative 5, and I'm going to go up to 4 and see if the point is there. And it is, so that's a good start. A, uh, the next one would be negative 3 and 2. I don't know why that ghosted like that. Very annoying. Sometimes the pen has a bit of a mind of its own, so I made that point. Uh, the next one would be negative 3 and 2, so I'm going to go over negative 3 and up 2, and I'm going to make a dot. You'll notice that that's not on there, so A is not the correct answer. So then I just look at the next one. Are you noticing a pattern here? A, my pen is messing up, and B, it's really simple to get the right answer to this question. Um, so negative 4 and 1, so if I go over to negative 4 and up to 1, I'm good to go. Uh, the next one would be negative 2 and negative 5. So over at negative 2, I go down. Negative 5 is on that list. Then I do go over to 1, negative 2. So I go to 1, down to negative 2, and make a dot. And once again, it's ghosting. Pen kind of has a mind of its own lately. I, it's slowly losing its integrity, which is very annoying and a little bit sad. Um, so negative 1, or 1 and negative 2, so it's like right in this general area. The next one would be uh, 5 and 2. So 5 and 2 is on there, we're good to go. So if I go over to 5 and up to 2, and I make a dot, all four of those points are on my graph, so I can say that that is the set of ordered pairs that is included in my relation. A really simple question to do, um, once again, in the end of course test, it's untimed, so just take a few extra seconds to make some dots. It might even calm your brain down a little bit from getting burnout on some of the other math questions. So good luck.